Okay, so this is the example. This is what we're going to make. So in this case, it's an introduction to a, a longer film that I'm helping a student with. So it's the introduction. Okay, so we think it's a negative space, or we think it's just black space as a border, and maybe we put some text in there. But then it's a little bit surprising what happens. <laughs> Why do I run? All right, so we're going to learn how to do that. And, and by the way, you can do the opposite of that, where you could start, for example, this way, and then pull out to reveal the whole scene. We could do it that way as well. But anyway, let's learn how to do it in CapCut. So we've opened up CapCut Desktop, and we've already added the video. So that's the first thing. And next thing we do is add default text, which is fine. And we're going to change the typeface and put run. Let's change the typeface, make it extra bold, and then increase the font size. And when you increase the font size, sometimes the letter spacing can be a little tighter, something like that, and maybe even a little bigger. Okay, and we can bring it down just a little bit. Okay, something like that. This is going to be the text that we export out, and it's going to become a video. So before we do that, we turn off uh, eyeball here on the video, and you'll see that we're dealing with black and white, and the white part is going to be transparent. The black part will remain black when we do uh, multiply later. But there's no animation on this. Let's say we want to end here at normal size. So that's where we want to end. We want it to look like this. So in that case, we go down here to scale, and we're happy with that at 100%. That's what it's going to look like. So this is about where we want it to become a normal size. But from here, from the beginning, we can put another keyframe. And, oh, actually, we can put it right about here is where we want it to start to move. So we put that keyframe there. That's where it's going to start to move. Anything to the left of this is going to be the full size, which we're going to scale it up right now. So it's okay to click that and now scale it. We'll use the U. So remember that anything that's white is going to be transparent. So we should turn this back on if you want to be able to see. Okay, we'll make this a little bit larger, about 700 in our case. There we go. So right about here. Yeah, this is the left part of the letter U. Remember, the white part is going to be all transparent. So this looks good. And this will remain this way right at the beginning. It's going to stay like this. We get to the first keyframe. It's going to start to get smaller. And then later you can add this sound effect. Boom, as we did, right? Okay, so what we do next is turn off the video and then we're going to export this. So we just go to export and this is going to be something that we bring back in as a video. So we just name this. Okay, we just put this on our desktop for now. Let's bring in the video of the text that we just did. Okay, so this is what we just worked on, right? So remember, the white part will, will be transparent. So the next step, in order to get the transparency, we go up here to Blend. Again, it's under Video, Blend, and then choose Multiply. And there we can see it. And that's the effect we were going for. And if that's too slow for you, you can increase the speed. Now that this is a video, it's not text now. So go up to speed, and let's say this is slower to faster, and we can adjust it. So if we just want that little bit at the end, if we want this to be say, a little more gradual, but even faster than that. Let's see how it goes. So something like this right at the beginning, then gradually the word run fills the screen, right? And if that was too fast, but you, you can slow that down. Wait, maybe it should be a little bit slower. Okay, you get the idea. And by the way, you can reverse this too. So let's take another one. Let's say you wanted it to do the opposite way. Then just Control and then go to Edit and you can reverse this. And it takes just a few seconds for this. Okay, so now it's been reversed. So it starts this way, and then it will pull out. Right? Very different effect. We did the animation in text first before we exported it as a video. 
And the reason why, for example, this one was made in Keynote, but I could have made it in anything, including CapCut. Here the overlay works, of course. It would do multiply, rather. And yeah, that's fine. But if I wanted to pull out, now I can do that, but it's going to become a little bit pixelated. So see what happens here is that the quality is just not good. Because, of course, I'm zooming out 500%, and that JPEG is going to become pixelated. But with the first way I did it, I did it as a, as a typeface as a font, so the edges stayed quite smooth, even though I expanded it a bit larger later. Okay, let's look at the final result of this intro for the student film. Why do I run? Well, let me tell you my story. All right. Thanks very much, everyone. If you have any questions, just please let me know in the comments below. All right. Thanks very much.